All right, so we're going to look at Ole Miss quarterback Jackson Dart, look at some of the best throws that he made against South Carolina. A really good defense who I, th I thought played pretty well against Ole Miss's offense and was put in some bad situations. So we're going to look at Dart. We'll talk about him for a little bit, but let's go ahead and just look at some of these throws. These first three clips were probably my favorite throws of the game. We're going to watch it, and it showed his ability to stand in the pocket and take a hit. This is a throw to Juice Wells here. Takes a shot right here. Delivers a nice throw. We'll go ahead and watch that from the beginning. But we saw several of these throws, especially in the first half yesterday from Dart. The explosive throws came off him standing in the pocket and taking hits. We're going to see, what was it, Juice Wells? Yeah, it was a tight covered throw, too. Really nice throw, tightly covered, delayed blitz, takes a shot, boom, right? Taking a shot and delivers a nice ball downfield to hit Juice Wells in stride. And I think it's pretty good coverage. Yeah, that's pretty damn good coverage, right? So, again, not all 22. It's not the all-22 film. It's just broadcast footage, so we have to kind of slow it down. We don't have the best angles, but still does a good enough job getting the point across. So these next two throws are going to be his deep balls. So he only had two completions where the ball was thrown 20 yards or more downfield. They were 2 of 10 yesterday. Again, South Carolina's defense, I thought they did a pretty good job. If if the offense didn't fumble the ball early, if they didn't go forward on that fake punt and get down 14 to nothing, you know, then, then maybe it's a little bit a little bit different. But they did, and Ole Miss was able to kind of sit on from from there. But still... Dart made big plays when he had to. So this was a deep ball here. We're going to see a little pump fake and then throws the ball deep. It gets the DB to bite in. So nice throw by Dart, and he takes a hit too, right? Boom, right there, takes the hit. Let's rewind it for a little bit. Takes a hit and still delivers a good ball downfield. Dart had zero touchdown passes yesterday. He was 14 and 27 for 285 with zero touchdowns. I feel like he almost should have had three. Like this play here, and then the play that Juice Wells fumbled through the end zone, and then there's another deep ball right before half that, I think they got like the one yard line, right? Or the two yard line that they should have had. We're going to watch that clip next. So even though darts like numbers, you know, maybe weren't his favorite numbers per se, still a gritty and tough performance. And so that South Carolina defense I thought was pretty, pretty damn good. Okay. So the last explosive throw we're going to watch. And this was, yeah, we can see 17, three second quarter, less than 50 seconds left third and six. And this is the throw where their defender is able to kind of like hit his legs essentially. And darts able to make a good throw. That, that corner bites again. Wow. Right, right. So, yeah, awkward throw because the defender had his legs. Able to hit his guy still. Let's go ahead and watch that one more time. Let's go here. Again, yeah, so these first three throws were my favorite throws and showing dart under pressure. But, yeah, so corner dives in here. They get him on that little stop-and-go type route again. Dart's able to make a nice throw, pushing the ball downfield as he has someone hanging off his leg. This, 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 this should have been a touchdown, I thought. It was like the DB for South Carolina was number yeah, number three. And then number one is just kind of jogging. Like, I thought he was going to score. I'm not sure if I – okay, I stopped it early, right? So those first three plays were, like, the, the more explosive plays. Two of those plays is where the ball was thrown 20 yards or more downfield. Again, they were only 2 of 10 on those throws. So they couldn't really find a huge rhythm, per se, offensively, but they were able to do enough. So let's look at a, a few more throws of Dart. Because especially early on, he was able to take what the defense gave him and be patient. These next two throws, we're going to see him not force it, Almost like check downs, but be patient and take what the defense gave him, uh, which led to Ole Miss touchdown. So we're going to see. He wants to take a shot deep here. Is it playing? Yeah, he wants to take a shot deep here. South Carolina has it covered. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And then he just kind of hits this check down here wide open. It's a second and eight. You see he wants to take the shot downfield. Both DBs are dropping with this deep guy. You see he wants it, does a little pump fake, just dumps it down to a wide open receiver ends up being a big a big gain here for for Jackson Dart. Again, something he did well early on. He was patient, took the defense, gave him, didn't have any turnovers. That was huge compared to South Carolina giving them giving the Ole Miss offense opportunity after opportunity, especially early on. Okay, this next clip here, I like this clip. Uh, it shows Dart's patience. Let's go ahead and watch it. It shows Dart's patience. He has to wait for the receiver to get across a different zone. Maybe he could have thrown. You oops. You saw him want to throw that, but this Lambricker comes in the window, so he throws it to that next window. So let's go ahead and watch it one more time because initially I thought he was open. I thought he should have thrown it now. Maybe he should have, but it was a good awareness by Dart knowing that backer's there. That backer was trying to bait him potentially, so he waits for the receiver to go past the backer and throws it a nice ball there for a first down. I think they sc they do score on this, on this drive, I believe. Let me move this a little bit. Right, okay, so we saw Dart. Sit in the sit in the pocket. We saw Dart take take hits and deliver the ball downfield. Again, not a ton of explosive plays, but you had enough explosive plays. And then this last clip here is in the third quarter. Yeah, third quarter. Uh, hits his guy third and ten. 
good third and ten conversion um, to his to his receiver. And this this next play after this was when Juice Wells um, fumbled the ball through the end zone. So we're gonna see third and ten. I forgot what the penalty was. You got a delayed blitz. Good job by Dart staying in the pocket again, being patient, taking the defense is giving you, and hitting his guy downfield for a first down. In the next clip, they hit Juice Wells in that slant route. Wells does a good job running and then fumbles through the end zone. So if you're an Ole Miss fan, I'll go ahead and rewind this real quick and let these play. If you're an Ole Miss fan, it's just your first time tuning in. We haven't made any Dart videos yet, but we do a lot of SEC quarterback content. Some of these film breakdowns or previews to recaps, whatever it may be, we do a lot of SEC quarterback content. But if you like this type of SEC niche, you know, QB content, please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing all that fun stuff. It helps us grow. But also let me know your thoughts on Jackson Dart's performance in the comments below. Again, it wasn't probably his favorite stat line, 14 and 27. So right over 50% completion percentage. He probably should have had three touchdowns. It was zero touchdowns. He probably should have had three, right? The, the juice wells and those two bombs. But they were able to, he was able to take the defense gave him, especially early on. They got that big lead, and they didn't need to force anything after that. So, again, Ole Miss fans, let me know your thoughts on Jackson Dart in the comments below. And please consider subscribing if you like this SEC QB content. Keep following us along. We'll see you next time. Peace.